for a four-string <clears throat> cigar box guitar. Uh, you can play the main part of the song on a three-string though. be very easy. But the uh, intro there, which is actually a song called Henry, and it was written by the guy that co-wrote the song Maggie May with Rod Stewart. And he just added it on to the intro. And it's rare that you, sometimes you might hear it if you hear Maggie May on the radio, and sometimes you won't. It's a long 30 second intro, but I'm going to show you how to play that at the end of the uh, actual lesson. Um, we are tuning to an open G. Your low string is going to be a G. Next string is a D. Next string is another G. Next string is a B. few of the chords we're going to be using. It's, uh, it's pretty simple for the most part. Um, let's see, we're going to use an A chord. We'll just come to the second fret. You can hold all four down. If you're on a three string, you hold all three down or just the bottom two. Or you just want to make that A chord right there. Uh, an open G. Three or four string, you just want to strike all the strings open. Um, let's see. <clears throat> uh, one time in the song, we're going to use a B, just like that A. Just come up to the fourth fret and do the same thing. You can hold them all down or, you know, whatever. Um, then we're going to play an E minor. We're going to take our index finger on the second fret. The D string. We're going to take our pinky or your ring finger, whichever you want to use, on the fourth fret on the low G string, and you can strike the others open if you want. E minor, we're going to play an F minor. Uh, you can take your ring finger or your pinky on the fourth fret on the D string, and your index finger, you want to bar down the, uh, hold down the, uh, on the 2nd fret, the upper G string and the B string. All three of those together, same time. Um, uh, 
uh, we're gonna play a D chord. Uh, four string, you take your index finger on the second fret on the upper G string. Your ring finger on the uh, third fret on the B string. And you want to strike the uh, D string open. And if you can, you use your thumb or whatever. You, you want to mute the uh, low G, don't let that ring out. So. Uh, three string, you can, the way I would do it on a three string, instead of going all the way up here, um, I would just hold down the uh, index finger on the uh, second fret on the upper G, and then strike the D string open with it. Alright, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the intro to the song. Um, not, not the finger picking intro, but just the actual song. I will show you that other part at the end if you for the four string players, uh, if you want to learn that. But we're going to start off on the D chord. We're going to go to the E minor. To the open G. Back to the D. So kind of like kind of like that. If you just want to strum it like that, that's the easiest way. Um, now at that intro, you can hear some little cool walking bass lines in the background. You know, Ron Wood, he played the guitar and the bass on that song. So, if you want to add in <clears throat> a couple of those, you can kind of like this. Just simply start out on the D. <clears throat> you take your index finger on the second fret on the D string, slide it up to the fourth, and then quickly go back to the E minor, to the G, and then from the G, just kind of uh, now right here, I don't slide this one, it's the same frets, the second and the fourth, but now on the upper G string <clears throat> so what I do is just pick it like back into the D or you can hammer it I don't really slide that one it don't seem right but slowly kind of stop right there on that D. <clears throat> Alright, now for the four string players, the way I played it at the intro, so if you have two people playing, it's really cool because someone can play this slower part down here and then <clears throat> other person can play this part up here. So right here I'm just going to um, start off on the D. Now instead of me going to the E minor right here, I'm going to, um, and now right here, it's cool if you just, um, in that D chord, I'm going to leave my index finger on the second fret on the uh, upper G string, and I'm just going to slide that up, and it's going to go into position right here for the next little chord thing. So it just helps you go into it if you leave, just slide up with your index finger on the uh, upper G from that D chord. Now I'm going to come up, uh, my index finger, I'm going to 
from the second fret, I'm going to slide up to the uh, seventh fret on the upper G. I'm going to place my uh, in my middle finger on the eighth fret on the B string. Make a little chord there, and then my ring finger is going to be on the ninth fret on the low G string. I'm just going to hit that E note right there when I come up to. Uh, for the uh, E minor that you would go into down here. You know, that's where you would go to the E minor, so... Then I'm going to come up here and just strum... These two right here. You can add in the open D if you want. So, slowly. right there for the E minor down here. Now right here I'm just going to take my ring finger off that low G string. We don't need it no more so don't let that ring out anymore. And I'm going to come up here. Now I'm still my index finger and my middle finger still on these two notes. <clears throat> now right here I'm going to take my ring finger on the uh, ninth fret on the upper G string and then I'm going to release it. Then I'm going to strum that chord a couple more times. <clears throat> now I'm going to, I'm still holding this chord right here. I'm going to take my pinky on the 10th fret and, and along with the where my index finger is down here on the 7th fret on the upper G and I'm going to slide that up to um, the 9th and 12th fret so slowly like do that I'm going to take my pinky off and I'm going to strike that little two note chord that we were playing right here except now we're up here on the ninth and tenth fret and then I'm going to come back down same little two note chord on the uh, seventh and eighth fret where we started and end it and that's where we're going to start over so all of that real slow stop just like we're going to stop down here on this D that's just a little part of a D chord up here so um, <clears throat> took me a while to figure that out how to play it where it sounded good right there so I hope y'all enjoy that part anyway but um, yeah that's the three ways the easiest ways to for that I figured out how to do that um, so slowly that part right there that's where we're going to stop <clears throat> now we come into the actual song um, now from here on out it's just very simple just a lot of strumming and chord playing and that's it um, Right here, when we stop on the D, no matter if you're playing it down here like a, the begin the, the first two times, you know, stop on that D or up here. Um, we're going to hit that B chord, and that's the only time we hit this B chord. Um, now, you could hit the D, but I, 
I've always done the B right here. Some people do a D. I do. I, I'm one of the people that does a B. But we're gonna hit that B chord. We're gonna hit an open G, and then we're gonna go right into the song on the A chord. So. Uh, So really coming out of that, I'll play that one more time, and I'll play the slower part going into uh, the actual song. So, oh, and I'm going to tell you right now, um, this is how I, it always seems to me playing along with the song over the years, especially on a six string uh, in standard tuning. Um, I do a down, 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 up, down, up stroke. The entire song except for the very end where the uh, mandolin comes in and that would be like a pick it however you want but that that's just the most easy you know just way to do it really but you can do it however you want um okay i'm going to do the slow part first like the intro going into the actual song so start singing so and the other part would be all right rest of it's easy so we're gonna start for on the A chord open G D and here we're going to do the D twice again like the rest of the chords will be just a so on the A G twice I think if I remember correctly but now we're gonna to go to the next part we're just going to start on the open G same strumming pattern to the D back to the G to an A Now here's where we go to the E minor, with the same strumming pattern. After the A, you go to the E minor. Now here we're going to go to the F minor. Back to the E minor. Now we go to an A. Back to an E minor. an A, back to an E minor, to an A, E minor, back to an A, now we go back to the D two times. All that right there starts over. Um, 
Yeah, it seems like a lot of E minors and A's right there. So uh, I, I just tell you now the easiest way to do that um, when you first do the first E minor. You go to the F minor. Then you go back to the E. Now you go to the A. Just count that A right there as the first one. And when you're on the fourth A, that's when you go to the D. So <clears throat> it actually go by it goes by pretty quickly because it's strummed a lot faster than what I was just doing. Um, but uh, I'm going to go through all that real slowly to show you how it fits together. I'm just going to start on the B. Double D, you go right back into the A. Right back into the second verse. Alright, so I'm going to show you the chords and underneath the solo. And there's like two little solos. The first solo is, um, we're just going to do what I'm going to show you here once. The second solo is uh, a little longer. And you're just going to double what, I sh what you do for the first solo. So it's really easy. And then, um, then I'll show you directly coming out of the second solo is when they go into the little mandolin part. And I'll show you the, the, uh, how to do the part and under that too. Um, so going into the first little solo, we're going to start out. And it's all down, 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 up, down, up. Uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna start out in an E minor to an A to a D to a G to an E minor and to a G to a D two times. So slowly. So after the two times of the D, you go right back into the A into the uh, third verse. like before it doesn't change you do that again go through the chorus again you're um <clears throat> then you do the solo again start out e minor um just like i showed you except this time you do it twice uh because the, the solo is like a little longer um and coming directly out of the solo they go right into the mandolin part that all that is is the intro again. You just want to strum the D, E minor, G, D, double the D, D twice. And this is where I pick it or I strum it a little differently. I don't do the down, 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 up, down, up. It's a little quicker and it's just more of a you know, free strumming kind of thing to me, so. So 
So just like the intro, you just strum it a little different, a little quicker and more freely. <clears throat> uh, so the part under the mandolin is just D, E minor, G, and then D. It's like the very beginning. All right, that's that's the entire lesson except for the uh, little hybrid finger picking uh, intro. And for the four string players, I'm going to show that to you right now. So. Um, <clears throat> this is how I figured it out, you know, it's a little weird, but, hey, okay, so, we're going to come up to the, uh, our, end, our index finger, we're actually going to fret the uh, D string, the upper G, and the B string <clears throat> on the seventh fret. We're going to take our pinky on the uh, tenth fret. On the B string, and now I pick this with my pick and my middle finger, so I'm, you know, I'm doing a little hybrid picking. Um, you can actually play it; it's really comfortable to play. The, the way I figured this out, it's good to play with just you know just finger picking without a pick, also. Um, but here's how I figured it out. Um, we're going to, uh, I, I, my pick, I strike the, uh, the upper G string that's being fretted right here on the 7th fret. I take my middle finger on my picking hand and pluck the uh, B string on the 10th fret where my pinky is. Then I'm going to take my pick, I'm going to strike... <clears throat> the uh, D string that's being fretted right here now I'm going to release my pinky I'm going to take my middle finger and place that on the 8th uh, fret on the B string and I still have my uh, these fretted but I'm just going to strike the uh, upper G string and the uh, B string on the 8th fret. And I'm going to strike the uh, upper G string on the 7th fret with my pick. And then my middle finger I'm going to pluck with my middle finger on my picking hand on the 8th fret. And I'm going to do it at the same time, pluck both at the same time. So slowly. Now I'm going to come down here, uh, I'm going to, just like I'm fretting these three, I'm just going to move it down to the fifth fret, and I'm going to place my ring finger on the uh, seventh fret on the D string, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, my pick, I'm going to pluck, I'm going to strike the uh, seventh fret on the D string, my middle finger I'm going to pluck the B string on the 5th fret at the same time. Now since I still have all these fretted, I'm just going to take my uh, ring finger and I'm going to strike that note on the 7th fret on the D string. I'm going to strike the note that I already have fretted right here on the 5th fret on the upper G. I'm going to, my, my ring finger, I'm going to strike the upper G on the 7th on the fret. My pinky on the 8th fret on the B string. Like... Then I'm going to strike that same little two note thing right here. So slowly.
been playing this so much today, getting ready for this, do, try to do this lesson. My middle finger is like raw. It's getting hard to pick this thing. <clears throat> So now we're going after that we're going to come back up uh, again with my pick. I'm going to uh, strike my index finger on the seventh fret on the D string, and then the pinky, my pinky on the uh, tenth fret on the B string at the same time. Then I'm going to come to the. Uh, well, let's see. Take your index finger on the 5th fret on the B string. Ring finger on the 7th fret on the B string. And your pinky on the 8th fret on the B string. And we're just going to... Now, you can strike this with your pick or pluck it with your finger. Either one. I, I generally pluck it with my finger, but... We're just going to pull it off. You're just going to strike it one time. And then pull those notes off with your finger so then we're going to come down here to the uh, third fret our middle finger we're going to strike we're going to strike the uh, B string we're going to pluck that with our finger and our picks we're going to strike the uh, upper G string open and both of those at the same time. Now we're going to take our index finger on the second fret on the upper G string with the pick and then pluck the uh, fifth fret with your pinky at the same time. So all of that slowly uh, well I'll just start from the very beginning so. now right here we're just going to play some little easy chords um, we're going to play a D chord on the uh, 7th fret. Alright, well my camera battery died. I was about to show you these little... The last little part of that first part. So, Alright, coming out of the... Uh, come up to this little D chord right here uh, if you're on three or four string doesn't well you're not gonna be playing this part on the three string anyway so forget that anyway I don't like letting the B string so I don't fret all of them I just like the lower three I like to be a little more bassy right there we we'll go from the seventh fret on the D chord just a little one finger chord to the fifth fret to the second fret so like, and actually I like from this one, I like to just give it a little, give it a little slide. So that first part, we do that two times. Um, I'll play through it slowly again with that part. hit that E minor. We'll come up here, middle finger, and pluck the uh, B string on the 12th fret. Walk it down to the uh, 10th fret, and now we're going to, with our pick, we're going to pluck the open D string along with your pinky plucking the uh, 10th fret with your uh, middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> 
same time. Now right here we're going to do that same little little pull off we did for the first part. Now right here we're going to come down here and we're going to take our middle finger on the third fret on the B string. Pluck that with your middle finger on your picking hand. Same time you're going to uh, pluck the uh, fourth fret on the low G string with your ring finger. Now we're going to uh, take our index finger on the second fret on the D string. Strike that one with your pick and pluck the uh, fifth fret on the B string with your middle finger on your picking hand at the same time. Then we're going to uh, strike the open G, the low open G string with your pick and then pluck middle finger uh, the B string open at the same time. Now we're going to take our middle finger on the second fret of the low G string. We'll strike that one with your pick. Long you pluck the uh, second fret on the B string with your finger, same time. We're going to walk that same thing up to the fourth fret, low G, B string. Do it at the same time. Now we're going to hit that E minor again. And then we're going to do that all that again. So slowly that part will be the first E minor. Again. And that's it. That's the entire song. And I hope you all enjoy this one. And I really love this song and put a lot of work into this. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon with another one.